several Douglas. Cuba. That's the right answer, sir, in the four zone. Takes you to six. Beverly, you're playing catch up. Category fashion. Clue on the screen for you watching at home. You've got one, he's got six. Will you play or pass? I'll play. You'll play. You take the four zone. You could get close with the right answer here. Fashion the subject, the time starts. Now, I am an item from fashion which first became fashionable in the 1950s, although I existed in the 19th century. I derive my name from the French name for the Italian port of Genoa, where the sailors wore sturdy workwear. Originally, I meant the strong cotton cloth of which I was made in Nîmes in France. I know, Beverly. Denim jeans. Jeans is the correct answer. Very well done. <laughs> Answered in the two zone. Takes you up to three. It's not all over yet. Beverly has control if she wants it. Films is the category. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home on films. Play or pass? I'll play. You'll play. You take control in the four zone. Films is the category and your time starts. Now, I first appeared in a comic strip created by Max Fleischer in 1933. I have gigantic forearms and small biceps. Beverly. Popeye. You got it. Popeye. Four. Answer to the four zone. Takes you to seven. Seven and six. Nine needed. Douglas, you're playing catch up. This time, food and drink is the category. You're three points away. Bev is two points away. The clue is on the screen. For you watching at home, we're all excited. What are you going to do, Douglas? Play or pass? Pass. pass. Okay. You pass food and drink to Beverly Bowman, who only needs two points to win and go through to the final. She has food and drink in the four zone, and our time starts now. I have been a source of protein for man since earliest times, but was only locally important and seasonal until the domestication of fowls became widespread. <laughs> Beverly. Chicken. Incorrect. It means, Douglas, you have control of the game. Time passes to you on six points and continues now. Most of me eaten today, Douglas. Egg. That's it, man. You got it. Well played. Answered it. Good job. Eight points that you need. Very well played, Douglas Moody. It means that Douglas is today's winner on Going for Gold. To all the nice gifts we've given you along the way, Douglas, stay where you are for the moment. We are going to add this Going for Gold type in. Beverly Bowman, the hardest of luck to you. Well done, hard luck. Yes, the type in will go with the bow tie that you had recently. Beverly, well played from Scotland. We'll see Beverly on the programme tomorrow. We'll see Douglas in our final. Goodness knows when, Douglas, but it's not too far away now, I can tell you. From all of us, Scotland, Scotland, and Ireland in the middle. Goodbye <laughs> until tomorrow on Going for Gold. Well done. Hard luck, girl. You'd have a red bomber jacket and 10.99 slip-ons. Your average Audi Quattro driver. It's me dad's. Oh. So what's the registration? Jimmy Nail is Spender, a maverick detective with a dubious past, an uncertain future, and a cynical boss. Where are you going to live? I'll sort that out. That's no problem. Look, don't be inscrutable, Spender. You're my problem. You've got family up here, haven't you? Wife, kids? Sorry. I love you both. Spend it tonight at 9.30 on BBC One. Coverage of the World Professional Darts Championship at the Lakeside Country Club Frimley Green is underway over on two. Now on BBC One, a murderous case for private eye Philip Marlowe. Dick Powell stars as Raymond Chandler's famous character teaming up with Claire Trevor in Farewell, My Lovely. <laughs>